Hi there guys, I'm here with 10 phrases for you to sound more native in French. So let's be productive today and let's roll this. Phrase number one is quoi de neuf? Quoi de neuf? How's it going? Remember the joy from friends and his intonation? So if you want to ask a person how, how are you, how he's or she's going, you can tell quoi de neuf? This is informal way of speaking. My finger. <laughs> so if you want to ask a person how are you to sound more native and casual you can say quoi de neuf instead of just boring ça va. But there are situations when ça va is in preference so keep it in mind. For example compare these two phrases bonjour madame ça va or salut mes potes quoi de neuf. Number two another example of a quick conversation is Ça roule comme d'hab. This is a totally informal way of speaking. This colloquial statement means that you are doing great. Ça roule comme d'hab. While the response is commonly used abbreviation for comme d'habitude, meaning as usual. Number three is bref. Bref. This is an easy little word to recall, which is used quite often not only in informal language, but even politicians can use this phrase in their speech. In fact, you know what would be great? To improve your French skills, you can watch news from time to time. I know that can be really difficult at first, but believe me, if you keep going despite of anything, you will do a big step in your language skills and you will improve your comprehension and your general understanding. I can share my own experience with you. When I was a child, my older brother used to watch films and programs and series in English all the time, and I understood nothing in these programs. But then I realized that I understood a half of the information. So after it would be 60%, maybe 70, 80, and then I was so happy to watch these films or programs with him. I was so happy to understand everything and it was a big progress in my learning skills. So if you watch French news you will definitely hear this breath connector and in English you know the equivalent is almost the same in breath. All in all, long story short, for example. Il m'a appelé et il m'a dit qu'il n'avait pas les mêmes sentiments pour moi. Bref, il m'a lâché. He called me and said that he didn't have the same feelings for me. Long story short, he dumped me. Number four. Tu fais quoi? What you're doing would be the best phrase to describe this laid-back style of the French expression. And at first it seems strange because the word-by-word -word translation would be you are doing what? I should have told you that French people really like to change the order of the words in phrase and this is the thing in France, like you are doing what? Tu fais quoi? Tu vas où? Like this. <laughs> Grammatically correct phrases would be Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Que fais-tu? In a day-to-day -day conversations. So you probably notice that this idiom is informal and please do not use it in your school or at work. Moving on to number five. Laisse tomber. Laisse tomber. The translation would be never mind and this is a really useful expression in French. You can use it um, pretty much every day. It literally means drop it but doesn't have that snappy tone behind it. Although it can actually if you wanna. For example. Et alors, tu as eu ton augmentation? Laisse tomber. Number six is n'importe quoi. N'importe quoi means whatever. So you can feel the need of this phrase in your daily conversation. But you should actually remember that this phrase can be translated as anything, like in the next example. J'aurais donné tout et n'importe quoi. I would have given anything and everything. Number seven is c'est n'importe quoi. It can be similar to number six, but this is another expression to say this is ridiculous, this is a nonsense. 
imagine the situation when you are in a big queue or line and you see how long you will stay there and you can say c'est n'importe quoi number eight is tenir quelqu'un au courant tenir quelqu'un au courant which means keep somebody up to date tiens-moi au courant Keep me up to date. It. You can use this phrase if you are interested in how the situation plays out, or maybe you should say a polite goodbye phrase to somebody. This will go. You can also end with this your email or direct message to make sure that you will get all of those updates. Moreover, don't be surprised if you will hear the answer. Oui, t'inquiète pas, je te tiendrai au courant. Oh, don't worry, I'll keep you up to date. Number nine, ça vous dit? Ça te dit, meaning, are you up for this? Sounds good. This casual French expression is a great suggestion audience with friends or theater, uh, restaurant, cinema choice. So whenever you have a marvelous idea of Saturday night or evening, track this on as a polite way of asking your friends. Use ça vous dit when addressing to several friends and ça te dit when hanging out with just the one. Example. Il y a un petit resto chinois pas de loin de chez moi, ça te dit. There is a little Chinese restaurant not far from my place. Sounds good. The last one, number 10, is je n'en crois pas mes yeux. This is a perfect idiom to say when you are surprised by something or you are dumbfounded by witnessing something. The translation would be more or less literal, so you can do no wrong with this expression. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. I'm so pleased that you are here with me with my next video. And don't forget that I will be uploading quite often. So be tuned and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye bye.